4 megapixel sensor, 2K resolution, built-in AI features that give you the possibility to detect person, animals, and even cars. And because it has a built-in microphone, can detect sound around it. And of course, you're gonna receive a notification once a baby's crying, an alarm is sound, and of course, when someone is speaking near your ubiquity surveillance camera. Basically, this is G5 Threat Ultra, and in this video, we're gonna talk about it. So let's get started. Nice to have you back at CST, Claudio here. So we're gonna focus on this surveillance camera from Ubiquiti. Basically, it's an IP surveillance camera. And because Ubiquiti sent me the whole line, I'm gonna show you. This is G5, this is G3 Flex, G4 Instant, most preferable camera. And of course, you have the AI360, you have the Bullet one, G3, and of course, the newest one, the Bullet G6. I'm gonna put it on one side because in this video, we're gonna focus to only one surveillance camera. I think it's a lot to take, so let's move to G5 Tourette Ultra. Basically, 4 megapixel sensor, 2K resolution, built-in AI function, and of course, you're gonna receive a notification once a car entered in the camera view field, when uh, someone is entered, and of course, when an uh, animal was detected over there. Because it has a built-in microphone, you can detect sound around it, of course, you can re uh, record sounds, but you can select a uh, notification once someone is speaking around the camera, when a baby is crying, and even when an alarm is sound. So this is the G5 Ultra, I think is the newest one, and of course, is the cheapest camera from Ubiquiti, in my opinion, because this one, if you live in Europe, costs you around 18 euro, if, and if you live... Uh, in the US, this camera costs you around 129 US dollars. Basically, you just need the camera, pay for it, you don't have any license, you don't have any fee in the future, and of course, you need the device to record everything that this camera can see. But now let's unbox the camera and I'm gonna show you step by step what you can do with this camera. First of all, please keep in mind Ubiquiti, it's a network company and they have the whole line based on surveillance products and of course they extend to access and now uh, surveillance camera I think is the best surveillance system on the market right now if you ask me. Now notice the attention that Ubiquiti have for package. For example, once you open this package, you will notice a blue QR code and if you scan this QR code you'll be pointed to the PDF version of this user manual and of course you're gonna find the user manual inside the box but I think you'll never read it. Of course we could split this in three parts we have the accessories you have the mounting system and of course you have the camera itself. I'm gonna remove it one by one and we're gonna talk about it one by one. Okay as you notice this one was built in 2025 and the package size is more smaller than uh, old ones. Now the first accessory that you'll find inside, it's a hardware kit, basically it's a small box and inside you're gonna find some essential parts that give you the possibility to install this camera properly. Please keep in mind this camera is built to be mounted inside and outside because it has rated the AP66 and in order to maintain that rating you need to install correctly. In order to install, please keep in mind this camera has only one wire over here, you have an RG45 connector and of course this one brings to the camera PoE the power and of course give you uh, send information basically with one cable you can send everything and receive everything from the camera but in order to maintain that IP66 rated you need to install the cable correctly so you have two options for the cables first of all please keep in mind you need a simple RG45 cable without any protection on the top you want to use this one try to avoid the cable that is already patched with this plastic rubber over here you can cut it I'm gonna show you why I recommend you to use this simple cable because once you install the protection cover for the cable that you're gonna find in this accessory box you have three parts you have the one part two and of course you have this uh, rubber ceiling or gaskets that give you the possibility to uh, isolate the cable correctly if you already crimped the cable don't worry just put the terminated cap and of course you can go with this rg45 through this uh, ubiquity cover protection and of course you see the cable will go uh, correctly now you have these two rubber seal you have two dimension five millimeters and six millimeters depend of your cable type you decide to use one of it for example i'm going to use the five millimeters and as you can see over here don't worry you have a small opening and of course you can put this through the cable 
now let's fix it to the cable but I'm not gonna fix it yet to the camera for example if you install to the camera just connect the RG45 cable here the click with the cover protection and of course you have here some sign as you can see you have two bullets and fix it now is lock the bullet from the cover is on the lock sign now you have to put this cable protection please try to fit it very very well and of course in the end you're gonna put the end cover and you're gonna tie it very very well and as you can see when you tie it the cable will stay connected corrected over here and this fit perfectly in this way you can maintain this uh, that ip66 rated for this camera so try to use the correct cable try to use the correct gasket in the same box you're gonna find some mounting accessories for example we have a key i'm gonna show you what you can do with this key you have these plastic anchors with screws and of course you have the ceiling uh, screws because the camera can be installed on the wall on the ceiling and of course i repeat inside and outside so let's move to the second package over here we have the mounting bracket and of course some drill template this is the mounting bracket you have the drill template and of course you have the this metal backplate it has a level uh, i think each product that can be installed you have a level on it for example this one it's a blue one so let's put it right it's correctly now you have the drill template you you have these four holes in order to install correctly and in the middle you have a big hole please keep in mind if you want to put the cable through this uh, hole i recommend you to maintain this size because when you select the different angle on the camera the cable will move in different position and need to have a lot of space in order to bend correctly so this is the drill template even you install on the wall even you install on the ceiling use this hole in order to this template to make some holes now let's move to this mounting bracket as you can see this one is made from plastic and of course here on the top has a rubber seal this seal don't have anything to do with protection it's just a rubber seal that fix the camera position when you install it also the same uh, mounting, mounting bracket has a latch over here and of course in this package you're gonna find this key and let me show you you have a small opening over here if you put the key over here and press you will notice this latch will go inside and this gives the possibility to lock and unlock the camera because when you install the camera somewhere you want to cam the camera to stay there to not be opening by anyone let's uh, mount this uh, uh, mounting system on the camera but before we do that you must remove this cardboard because ubiquity has install this protection in order to prevent the camera movement while the, you transport it for example you can see the camera can move freely now into the into the cover and if this cardboard cardboard was missing during the transport this one will move and when you receive the products you will receive a product with some damages because this aluminium box will uh, move <laughs> during the transport into this plastic cover yes the the camera protection cover is from plastic and as you can see you have here a ro rotating uh, well this one is made by aluminium and of course let's move the camera let's mount the camera sorry don't hate for my english i'm not a native english speaker so i'm gonna try my best so let's pretend we fix this into the wall and we're gonna connect the camera so this one is fixed we don't need to rotate the camera we can rotate only this ring as you can see come on the ring is moving independently from the camera in my in my dev over here i'm gonna move it but as you can see this one will move freely let's adjust the position because we have a 360 position and even we have a 40 degree 45 degrees angle so in my case let's move it to the 45 degrees and as you can see the cable is moving also so you need to have that big hole that i'm talking about earlier so you have the locking mechanism i'm gonna try to lock and you think should hear a click come on click so in this moment the camera is fixed the camera position is fixed and with this key i'm gonna repeat i put the key over here and just rotate and give you the possibility to readjust the camera angle in my case i'm gonna remove come on i'm trying to put at 45 degrees fix it come on and let's tie the camera 
it's very hard because the base is not fixed or something so this is the camera mounting is not really 45 degrees but you've got the idea so the cable uh, should go through the wall into the camera into the the switch but if you decide to install the camera on one or wall and you don't have any holes inside you have this protection uh, clip over here just remove it and this one give you the possibility to go to the cable through this protection cover under uh, under the camera so this is the way that you put the cable through the protection base now let's move to to camera itself the camera itself is made by aluminium as you can see over here on the back uh, you have only one button i'm gonna try to show you you have the reset button over here because if something happening or if you want to readopt the camera into another mvr you just need to reset you can do this from software but in some cases when you have problem with the mvr you can reset manually from here so you will be ready to readopt to another uh, ubiquity nvr or cloud gateway let's remove this protection cover i recommend you to remove this protection cover once you finish the installation because you can make some scratch on this plastic surface because over here under this black ring it's uh, basically the infrared light and this one is made by plastic the camera lens itself is made by glass as you can see over here is glass so under this ring you have three small holes on the top you have the led the led will light white when the camera is in adoption mode and of course will light blue when the camera is fully adopted and is fully working and of course from the software you can disable this led on the bottom you have the microphone and of course you have the light sensor because the camera will detect itself when it's morning when it's light when it's evening and of course we'll try to adjust the infrared in order to have the infrared night view Basically the camera is a very advanced device, has 4 megapixel sensor, 2K resolution, 30 frames per second and of course has the built-in AI that I told you earlier, can detect pe people, person, can detect animals, can detect cars and of course you can create rules. For example when someone enters in your, uh, in your yard of course the camera will send a message and it will tell you Claudio someone is entering. When the car is entering you will receive the same notification. Basically you can do any notification you want based on what you want to receive from this camera. I like very much that has a built-in microphone because you can record also the audio and of course you can make some rules based on, on what camera uh, uh, noise to receive. For example, if a baby is crying, you can receive a notification, you put this camera into the baby room and you want to receive a notification once your baby is, is crying. And of course you can install outside and of course when the siren is hitting, for example, gas sensor or I don't know, when alarm is triggered, you're gonna hear the alarm noise and the camera will detect that and of course will send you information via uh, mobile phone protect uh, notification. Of course you can create rules, you can alert any other user that already assigned to this camera. But in order to assign this camera, please keep in mind you need the device that it's able to store information from this camera and of course in order to be to store that information. That device, if you are already in the Ubiquiti family, it's the Cloud Gateway. Basic Cloud Gateway it's a device that has a Protect app and has an ad the hard drive and of course the protect app will store all the information from cameras to that hard drive and of course if you plan to install many cameras in your home you need the big device that is able to handle all that uh, video feeds and of course this one it's an nvr on ubiquity website you will find you have three options of nvr based on how many cameras cameras you want to install Let's talk about adoption because this camera is made to be used only with Ubiquiti products. Once you adopt to Ubiquiti Unify uh, Protect platform, you have an option to stream a live feed from this camera and that live feed can be stored somewhere else. Uh, for example, we managed to store information from this camera to a Dahua NVR, to a Higvision NVR and even more we can store the same information on Synology NVR because this camera can offer you three live feeds of course you're gonna lose all the information related to people to cars to sounds to notification because all that information will be processed by nvr from ubiquity and only for that so if you plan to have a backup uh, recordings for this camera you can use another nvr in different location and store that information basically as a backup but i'm claudio from the cs tech and in the end uh, if you don't subscribe to our channel i recommend you to do that it takes you only two seconds and in the end you're gonna receive a notification once we publish a new video on this channel thank you for watching and see you in the next one